So Disney Fortnite was revealed yesterday, but is this too good to be true? And before you call me a hater, please hear me out on what I have to say. So in the blog post revealing this, they mainly revealed three things about the upcoming Disney Fortnite. First one being is that you're going to be able to watch movies in it. Second one being is that the game is going to be consistently updated. And the third one being is that you're going to be able to create your own ex experiences in it. I do have questions about all of these statements. First off, for the most important one, the movies aspect of it. How is that going to be profitable to Disney? Are you going to have to buy movie tickets with V-Bucks? If so, is that going to cause a riot? Is this going to be linked to a Disney Plus subscription? If so, why don't I just watch it on Disney Plus instead of on Fortnite? But I'm going to guess all of those questions are going to soon be revealed. Now it's time for the second statement, which I also have questions about, is creating your own experiences with it. This is the Disney IP. Now, yes, there is stuff like Infinity out there, but I don't know if Disney, or I really don't know how Disney would allow you to use their IP without being incredibly restrictive on it. And when they say use your IP, is this for all modes, for racing, Lego, festival, battle royale, or is this just going to be for Disney Fortnite? But of course, again, that's all just going to be revealed very soon. But I think the final one is the most important question I'm going to be asking. And that's pretty simply, how is this going to be consistently updated? Even if you look at the art itself, there are so many collaborations in this. And there's just so much content that how is this going to be consistently updated? Is it just going to be a brand new weapon for a single mode? Is it going to be an entire brand new side quest and main quest? And I really feel like all of these questions are going to need answered before the hype gets too big just from all of the statements being incredibly vague. But now since we got rid of all of the main points and my questions with all of them, I think it's time I make a very important statement about just directly to Epic Games. If they do not want this mode to die, please make these skins usable in all modes. Let me explain. So, of course, as we all know, Disney is very protective with a lot of their IPs. Heck, a lot of people were very surprised that Jack Skellington was able to be used in the Battle Royale mode. But, of course, it's going to get more sketchy the bigger IPs you get, like a Mickey Mouse. To, of course, the point where they might even ban the skins in things like Battle Royale due to it having guns. I am going to say something. If you want the mode to die, ban the skins in Battle Royale. Because... Battle Royale is still your biggest game, Fortnite, and if the skins are banned there, less people are going to want to purchase the skins, me including. Or if the skins are banned in Festival, I'm not going to want to purchase the songs. So I feel like if they really want this to live, just please let the skins be in Battle Royale, and just please make a Mickey Mouse skin that will absolutely blow up on the internet, I guarantee it. But even with all my questions and doubts about how big this project is actually going to be and I would still recommend you to keep your hype at a reasonable level and not really try to overblow this a stupid amount although be excited for it I feel like this is really going to be great there's going to be so many great IPs but make sure you're asking the important questions when it comes to this stuff and when more stuff is revealed so anyways, that is it for the video. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like, and turn on the notification bell for daily content. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!